Have you ever wondered about having a fox as your pet, or have you seen this video of foxes in a petting zoo? Well, lucky for you, through domestication, foxes can actually be your pets. Domestication is the process of taming an animal by controlling their breeding process with the primary aim to adapt the animal to live with humans. First term as domestication syndrome by Charles Darwin, this syndrome stated that the changes observed in domesticated animals not only include behavioral changes, but also physical changes. Back in 1959, Dmitry Belyaev set up a fox farm to look into the tame behavior traits that may appear from red foxes during domestication after only breeding the selected tame foxes. You may ask, why red foxes? These red foxes were subjected because they are one of the most common carnivores in the world, and as they are carnivores, they are known for their aggressive behavior. This research was initially brought up by the idea of dogs, which you might not know actually originated from wild wolves before their domestication, and they were not as friendly as the dogs we now have as pets. So, using this knowledge as the background information, Dr. Belyaev predicted that foxes may be similar to dogs in a way that they also have a similar set of genes which can evolve to display the tame behaviors. From this, it was further theorized that the domestication of foxes may have happened due to the difference in the genetic makeup between the tame and wild foxes. Initially, he only bred foxes that are capable of socially interacting with humans and repeat the process for the next generations. Although he only focused on the development of tame behavior in the foxes, other scientists have pointed out there are changes in several physical features expressed by the domesticated foxes similar to the present-day dogs. Recent studies have mentioned the relationship of the fox's personality and hypothalamic pituitary adrenal or HPA axis, which consists of hypothalamus and pituitary gland in the brain, as well as adrenal gland on the kidney, at which there are changes in the genetic expression that is related to the release of adrenocorticotropic hormone, or ACTH in short. When animals feel distress, ACTH will be released into the blood circulation, which is responsible for causing behavioral changes in animals, as seen in actions such as attacking, running away, or staying still. Having said that, it has been observed that a decrease in ACTH concentration gives rise to the tame behavior, in a way that the lower stress hormone secretion allows the foxes to not show aggression. As the understanding of ACTH mechanism expands, there are several genes that have been discovered to regulate the tameness behavior of the foxes, such as the PUMC, CRH, and GCR genes. Now, let's dive in deeper into each genes. First is the pro-opiomelanocortin or POMC gene. It is a gene that expresses POMC protein, which turns into ACTH after an enzymatic reaction. In domesticate foxes, the expression of this gene is notably decreased, thus reducing ACTH level and inducing the tameness behavior. Next is the corticotropin-releasing hormone or CRH gene that expresses CRH whose binding to its receptor in hypothalamus can initiate the release of ACTH. Similar to POMC, this gene is reported to decrease in domesticated animals. Moreover, another gene involved here is the GRK7 gene, which encodes for corticotrop receptors that are expressed less in tame foxes. As a result, the interaction between CRH and its receptor diminishes, causing ACTH level depletion. Lastly, the glucocorticoid receptor or GCR gene, for example NR3C1 gene, that expresses glucocorticoid receptor is found to be environmentally affected to the point it becomes silenced during expression in tame foxes. Glucocorticoid hormone gives rise to social fear in aggressive foxes, so the decrease in glucocorticoid binding can induce tameness. Furthermore, as glucocorticoid synthesis happens after the release of ACTH into the blood circulation, the reduction in ACTH level in domesticated foxes further decreases the glucocorticoid level. This in turn adds more factor for the expression of tame behavior in the foxes. Besides showing behavioral changes, phenotypic changes in their physical features are also observed in the tame foxes which make them look more similar to dogs. This morphological alteration can be explained by the neural crest cell hypothesis, which suggests that domestication affects the formation, differentiation, and migration patterns of neural crest cells during developmental stage before birth. 
Commonly, changes in the craniofacial structure of the domesticated foxes include shortened snouts, underbites, widened and elongated skulls, while other physical characteristics, including upright curved tails, folded ears, and white spotting or piebald pattern on their fur are seen in the foxes bred by Dr. Beliaev. As of now, the selective breeding process in the fox farm produces roughly 70% of foxes with a huge desire to interact with humans and have shown dog-like behaviors such as whining and licking, which are traits presumed to arise from the genetic selection. Generally, these genes are either reduced or silenced. So, if you're wondering about having a fox as a pet, you might be happy to know that you could have one in the near future. Thank you for watching our video.